Well, hi, this is Valder Beebe. I'm live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder Beebe Show. Hi, Valder. How are you, Donnie Great. Deutsch? Thanks. How are you? Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. You have got a lot going on, and I want my audience to know a little bit about, you know, talking with you and about you playing a fictionalized version of yourself. Yes. Uh, it's a new uh, comedy, a scripted comedy on USA Network called Donnie. And uh, in the show, I play a guy named Donnie Deutsch. That happens to be my name also, but a different version of myself. In the show, I have a fake daytime talk show, like I host a show, a Dr. Phil type show, and I give wonderful advice to people. But off the show, I'm a complete idiot doing all the things I tell people not to do, do them. And I'm the butt of the joke, and I'm surrounded by these incredibly powerful women, which is like the case in real life. And I promise your audience will, will, will laugh a lot if they tune into this show. Okay, we're going to laugh a lot, but okay, tell me why you did this show, because I know you must have your hands full with, I think it's called the Donnie Deutsch Agency, is that, I'm well, not sure I, if that's the name of it. In my previous life, I owned an advertising agency called Deutsch, and that, that, that's, I'm now I'm more in the TV business, I'm not in that business anymore, and for years, okay. I had a talk show on CNBC called The Big Idea, where I, I give, yes. and then I, I'm on MSNBC and all these different shows, and I just came up with this idea and, and went out and shot a pilot, and I, I thought it was very funny, and obviously the USA Network did also, and uh, it's just a story about everybody, like like I'm like everybody else, I'm a parent, I've got three daughters, uh, I'm a single dad, and just trying to get through life and all the ways I stumble, and the premise of the show is that, you know, no matter who you are, rich or poor, black or white, young or old, uh, we're all going through the same stupid stuff every way in one form or another. Okay, so you just want to make people laugh? That's all I want to do, and I'm the butt of the joke. I make fun of myself, and in the show, I, the women rule. I'm surrounded by these really bright, super women who somehow save the day for me, whether it's my daughters or uh, the women I work with, and um, they help me and love me despite myself. Okay, and in your personal life, I think you're surrounded by your daughters. Yes, I've got three fantastic daughters. I've got one grown daughter who's 28 and a 12 and an 8-year-old, and they're the best. I have so much fun with them. I, uh, the, you know, just girls rule as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm sure if I had a boy, I would love it. But, and I do a lot of girly stuff with them. You know, we we go and we shop and we, then I go to their ballet and we have them. I let them give me man. They're they're fake. My little ones are fake manicures, so they give me these fake manicures. Which, your daddy, you got to do that stuff, you know. And I do what I got to do. You've made a living talking. Is this is this still a part of that? You're still just talking, and, and are, are you giving any message out to the audience? Just making them laugh. As I said, it's a comedy. Uh, it's scripted. It's 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 the the me and the message really is. As I said, we're all doing the same stupid stuff, and you know if we can laugh at ourselves and we can poke fun at ourselves, and if we all step back and look at our own lives, there are these absurdities going on, and if you can kind of just take them for what they're worth and have some fun at your own expense in real life, I think you'll be okay. So you're doing this. Will there be any, like, reflection of pop culture, what's going on? Because I know you know Donald Trump very well. Yeah, I mean, that's all it's about, pop culture. It, it, it always starts on the daytime talk show part where there's some subject matter, whether it's tiger parenting or sex or, or race or different issues of the day that somehow happens on the talk show and then somehow drift into my personal life off the show. And there's a lot of celebrities that show up on the show, and Regis Philbin, and Martha Stewart, and Christy Brinkley, and um, uh, Russell Simmons, and uh, Billy Bush, and Hoda, and Kathy Lee, and they all play themselves on the show. So there's a lot of topicality. Well, that I do like. Uh, I didn't know about that aspect. I've seen the commercials coming for it, and I can't wait to watch it. When are you coming on, and when do you want to? Well, when are you premiering? Um, it's Eastern Time, ten thirty. Um, so, with that, would be Dallas time, uh, eight thirty um, on Tuesday nights on the USA Network. Uh, so, Tuesday night, just check your local listings. USA Network. It's called Donnie. I promise you will laugh, and it's um, it's a lot of fun. It really is. All right, I'm going to hold you to that promise, sir, because I want you to come back and when they renew you for season two, and I want to make sure you keep their promise and make us laugh, Donnie Doyle. Well, well Valder, I'm coming down to Dallas. I happen to be one of the rare New Yorkers who likes the Cowboys. So uh, I'll come down to Dallas and see you next time, all right? I would love to have you in the studio. It would be my pleasure, Donnie Joyce. And, and just good luck in doing this. And somebody who just wants to make us laugh. I can't wait. That's all what we need. Very kind of you to have me on, Valder. It's kind of you to be my guest on the Valder BB Show. Good luck. Thank you.